jeans were invented not long after the California gold rush, when a certain Mr. Levi Strauss began making miners denim work pants with copper rivets. To say he came up with a winner is something of an understatement. 450 million pairs are sold every year in the US alone, and worldwide the denim market is worth around 40 billion dollars. But every pair of jeans has made an amazing journey from the cotton field to the high street store. Those jeans are made here in Tehuacan. This is Mexico's largest jeans factory and produces designs for most of the famous American brands, churning out 400,000 pairs every month. A typical pair of five pocket jeans uses 15 pieces of cloth. So they first stack the denim into piles of 100 sheets, ready for each piece of the design to be cut. It's up to pattern layer Antonio Martinez to make sure that as little material as possible is wasted. Using a computer, he can limit the offcuts to just 7%. Once he's happy, the pattern is printed onto paper. Next, the design is rolled out over the denim. This stage is more like carpentry than tailoring, and with the denim 100 sheets deep, any mistake will be costly. Once cut, it's like a military operation, with an army of jean genies assigned to one specific task. Each pair of jeans takes 15 minutes to make, and requires 1.6 meters of denim, several hundred meters of thread, six rivets and one zipper, or five buttons. On seam ironing duty is Marie Cruz. I like my job a lot because there's no pressure here, unlike other areas of the factory. I iron 300 pairs a day. I like ironing, but later my back will hurt. Marie adds the finishing touches to these spanking new jeans, but they're still not ready to grace a cowboy's behind. These days, everyone's too cool to wear jeans that look brand new. So they're about to become distressed by being slipped onto some rubber legs, blown up and given a little rough handling. In just 60 minutes, this team are going to make the jeans look like they've spent the last five years being dragged around a mine. So they set to work sanding in worn patches, grinding in frayed edges, and spraying on stains. Then, to add a few worn-in designer creases, it's out with a high-tech laser gun. These jeans get an even rougher ride than the buckaroos. To give them a final hammering, they're tossed into gigantic washing machines, along with a few buckets of volcanic rock. Once dried, the jeans are now shrunken and nicely worn in. Or totally trashed, according to your point of view. After a quick press and the obligatory label, so you know whether they're designer expensive or just cheap and cheerful, they're boxed and ready to be shipped to budding bronco busters everywhere. <laughs>